It is one of the stories you are clicking on most on Fox5DC.com, a rocket launch next week that should be visible from our region. So let's get out to Fox 5's David Kaplan. He's high above Wisconsin Avenue. I've known you for a while, David. I always said you had your head in the clouds, but uh, we're going to need some better weather if we want to see this happen, right? <laughs> Rude, man. But yeah, no, we are going to need to see some better weather as it relates uh, to all things about this rocket launch. Take a look right now. So we're here. It's about five o'clock, obviously 515 on a bit of a normal clear day. You might be able to see the Washington Monument. Obviously, that is not the case right now. And obviously, these are not good conditions for being able to see a rocket launch in the sky. That said, checked in with our weather team. As of right now, we could see some weather that looks a little bit like this at the beginning of the day Monday when this launch happens, but things are expected to clear up for the launch window at night. What is that window? Well, this coming Monday between 6 and 8 p.m. If you're watching us from the green part of this little map, you should be able to see the rocket 30 to 60 seconds after takeoff. Most people in our area will be able to see it 60 to 90 seconds after. That's the yellow area, that pinkish fuchsia color that you are in. You should be able to see it 90 seconds to two minutes after launch if you're watching us from there. I talked to Ted Mercer. He's the CEO of Virginia Space. That's the body that operates the launch pad in Wallops Island, Virginia. He says this launch, particularly Virginia. Take a listen. What is unique about this particular uh, rocket or this particular launch is that it is launching from a Virginia spaceport carrying a Virginia payload. So the payload on this particular rocket is by a company called Hawkeye 360. They are based here, right here in Virginia. In Herndon, specifically, three satellites will be deployed that have radio frequency monitoring capabilities. This particular launch is also significant because it's the first U.S. launch of a rocket called the Electron from a New Zealand-based company called Rocket Lab. The rocket's a little bit smaller as these things go. It's 60 feet tall, about four feet in diameter, and can be launched more frequently. I talked to the CEO, Peter Beck, this afternoon. He tells me one of these is made every 20 days. All this signifies continued expansion of this industry and greater numbers of these launches. That's exciting. It's great to bring a new capability to the nation. So the nation doesn't have a reliable small launch vehicle launching, you know, off US soil. Obviously, we launched the vehicle off, uh, off, you know, foreign soil, but this is this is bringing the capability uh, to to hometown. So again, the CEO of Virginia Space in Wallops Island says they are hopeful that everybody on the East Coast will be able to see this. But if the weather does look like this, and again, it is expected to clear up, fear not. The pace of this is picking up so much. They're expecting to have about one launch per month for the first half of this year. Back to you.